So it's been quite some time since we've talked about the pink sauce lady and her treacherous rise to infamy. At first, she just seemed like any other rags to riches story. She blew up on TikTok after recording herself eating different foods smothered in her unique pink concoction that she conjured up in her own kitchen like the professor from the Powerpuff Girls. This of course sparked interest from TikTok users all over the world as they questioned what this mystery sauce could possibly taste like. With this engagement quickly setting off like bulbs in her head as she realized that she might actually have a real product that could legitimately make her some money. So she manufactured some batches in her own home, not following any health and safety guidelines at any step in the process, and disaster ensued as people who bought her pink sauce received rancid bottles of nastiness. This is when I would say she started to fall out of favor with the general public and her detractors start to outnumber her supporters. In short, people found out that she was less than equipped to handle the production behind the product, and when she got called out on her malpractice, she began what would become a long cycle of playing the victim. With this all coming to a head, when she went on a low-budget talk show and was faced with one of her biggest critics who had sent her nasty sauce to a testing lab. This resulted in the pink sauce lady, as well as the host of this show, dismissing these legitimate complaints as nothing more than hate. So as you guys can see by the title, this episode has now been deleted after it got absolutely dislike bombed. But I did just want to show you guys a little piece of this once again to kind of jog y'all's memories. So when I was doing the review, there was just so many red flags that I saw in it. Like the label, you know, when you make a USDA label, you have to put in batch numbers because if something were to be recalled, you have to be able to trace it down to the salt and pepper that is in something. And so if something... Oh, wait, not to cut, not to cut you off, but to cut you off. So you didn't see the video because you follow me, right? Well, I want to hear Ali. I'm yeah, give absolutely. You, you had your time to okay. talk, so just let me have mine. Yeah, so obviously it was getting spicy up there. The pink sauce lady was feeling heated. She was feeling very defensive. And she was basically acting like somebody just trying to bring the truth to light about her pink sauce and the dangers it could cause was just some sort of troll or some sort of hater. Okay, but why would I contact someone who's fabricating something on the but internet? But nothing you're, was fabricated. To be honest, you're not special. You're not special. Okay? So. Yeah, so obviously the pink sauce lady really had no rebuttal to her claims besides to say that, oh, you're not special. And y'all know the rest of the story. Basically, her and this host just went on to make an absolute fool of themselves and put this other lady, Ali, on the hot seat for really not doing absolutely anything wrong. But despite all that negative press and him even having to delete that episode out of pure embarrassment, the pink sauce lady is still trying to be relevant in 2023. And the word on the street is that she successfully got her pink sauce bottled and manufactured and sent to around 4,000 Walmarts all across this country. So this is just now going to be kind of like an update video on everything going on. As you guys might be able to tell, I think the pink sauce lady has uh, had a little bit of work done. And here's just another video from a couple months ago where it shows her playing the victim. All of this false <laughs> propaganda that's going on on the internet, I'm just a victim of clout. <laughs> uh, there were a lot of trolls and a lot of people making fake reports saying that they were getting sick from the pink sauce. However, they never even made a pink sauce purchase. I mean, let's be honest, she absolutely deserved to be judged for what she was doing. I mean, like I said, we all love the rags to riches story, right? But when you're trying to run a business, especially one that involves like food consumption, and you're not making sure you're taking the legitimate steps to make sure that you're not going to get somebody sick, and basically not going to make sure that your product is going to follow the rules, which we all know in America, there really aren't that many of them, then at that point you were just being a negligent business owner, and I really see no problem with people calling you out. And it also really doesn't help that she was out here showing her true arrogance when it comes to this whole process with videos like this. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. <laughs> the pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. <laughs> I never said that. D it's the Food and Drug Administration, damn it. And eventually the FDA actually did end up showing up to her house and she even had people threatening to dox her location. This is obviously something that nobody wants 
And with the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN, you guys will no longer have to worry about your privacy online. Because with Surfshark, they take your device of choice, whether it be a computer, a laptop, a cell phone, etc., and they protect it through encryption whether you are in your home or out and about on public Wi Fi. In turn, this will protect you from cyber criminals trying to hack into and steal your personal information. In addition to being kept safe, Surfshark also allows you to gain access to restricted content in your country or region. Like let's say I wanted to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine in America. Well, I wouldn't be able to. But if I switch my location to let's say Italy, voila, I can now watch this show and other content only available to particular countries. And when you use my code Jamari when purchasing Surfshark, you will get a whopping 83% off your order plus three months of service completely free. I'm telling you guys, this is an amazing deal, so don't wait, hit that link below in the description and reap the benefits of Surfshark today. She was also out here promoting her pink sauce at every shysty club in the country. Pinky sauce. <laughs> Pinky sauce. Is He's like, this is mine, right? And then leading up to this Walmart launch, she was still gaining steam. She talks about reopening her website. Hey y'all, Chef P here. Okay, so big announcement. We are now selling the pink sauce at thepinksauce.com. Listen, it's vegan. Also, if you don't do the dairy, <laughs> you can have some too. Click the link below so you could go and buy a bottle. Y'all know it's going fast. Just go get you some. Get you some. And then she just kind of started showing the whole manufacturing process. You know, they got that co-packer. They got the uh, formula, the secret Krabby Patty formula going on. All filled to three different levels, but hey, who gives a shit? There it is, being officially bottled. We've been working very hard for the pink sauce to come out, and soon it's gonna be in, yeah, 4,300 stores. Here's the actual video of her at Walmart buying her own pink sauce. Let's move on. Chapter two. Can we please do that? Um, or we, we, some of y'all need to be stuck in chapter one. And you know, good for her. I'm sure that that's a great feeling to see a product up in Walmart. Kids out there watching, I guess if there's anything you can take away from this video, is that even if you disrespect someone on a low budget talk show, and you don't take any accountability for your bad business practices, you out there can still end up in Walmart. You know, it almost reminds me of when Drake went to Best Buy to buy all of his own albums. And I found this video very interesting because someone went to their local Walmart, you know, like a third party person. Keep in mind, this is manufactured, bottle ready to go on the actual shelf at Walmart. It's still all having a problem with the consistency of the color. You know, you got some tan in there, you got, you know, different shades of pink. And here's a review someone actually made about the pink sauce. Okay, it's finally here. I've been waiting so long for the official relaunch of the pink sauce. It's I am still not so pink. excited to try this. And it also came with a free gift from Dave's Gourmet Hot Sauce. You know, I did find that very interesting because this guy Dave's Gourmet Hot Sauce is the one who's manufacturing this pink sauce for her. He's the one that kind of made her dream turn into a reality. And part of me does wonder, is this all like a ploy to get people more interested in his sauce? Did he see this viral video and think, Ah. Okay, let's shake up the pink sauce. Got my KFC here to try with the pink sauce. Yeah, it's pink hoodie on. I'm gonna try. This guy's a real fan. It's good. It's nothing like I've had before, and honestly, I cannot describe it. I really cannot describe it. And then in the biggest turn of events from this whole story, she actually sent an official bottle of pink sauce to that girl Allie from the talk show. Okay, it's late at night. I just got home from running errands and this was sitting at my front door. All right, looks like we have a pink sauce that is gluten-free, FDA certified. Wow, it looks like we have two bottles. Of tan and sauce. And some hot sauce, I assume. Like I genuinely was shocked to get this in the mail. Like I had no clue what it was. That shit so is tan, this man. Was a pleasant surprise tonight. And I haven't eaten dinner, so it that's not even pink. better. All right, we have <laughs> packaging. It's so tan. We have ingredients. We have correct serving sizes. We have an expiration date. Okay. Okay, from this to this. 
And all seriousness, guys, I do think that this was a nice gesture to try to extend a bit of an olive branch. I don't know if this was Dave's doing, if he was like, hey, we need this positive PR after how bad you messed up. Although I will say, I feel that the pink sauce lady should also have issued a public apology for just acting so nasty during that interview. And there's the guy we've been talking about, man. Dave himself, he's the one who made this vision happen. And here's a video where Dave personally talks about how he linked up with the pink sauce lady and made this dream a reality. Why did Dave's Gourmet partner with Chef P? We saw the pink sauce go viral on TikTok along with everyone else, but with our 30 plus years of making sauces, we offered our expertise instead of criticism. Dave's Gourmet entered a partnership to help bring Chef P's vision safely to the consumer market. Made in an FDA and SQF certified facility, you can now purchase a vegan and gluten-free pink sauce. Wonder what kind of cut Dave got. You know, to me, it wouldn't even matter if it was like a really big percentage because at the end of the day, for her to get like the manufacturing, to have to go sit down and talk with Walmart and all these other big box stores. I mean, it could have taken her years to get this pink sauce on the shelf, if ever. And they're selling this stuff for $9.99. I'm guessing it's going to come out to around 15 bucks when it's all said and done, which is a lot to pay for just some sauce. But hey, I guess if you're curious, why not? Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this latest update in the Pink Sauce Saga. Do you think the Pink Sauce is gonna be a hit from here on out? Or do you think this guy Dave took a chance and it's gonna be nothing but a swing and a miss? Either way, I wanna thank you guys for dropping a like on today's video and making sure you subscribe if you're not. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman and some other random sauces out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!